Welcome back to Lavendaire. It's Eileen. Today I'm going to show you how I made this DIY vision board for 2019. I got the inspo from my friend Chris Yu. She made this about a year ago and when I first saw hers I was like wow that is super cute. So I thought I would take a stab at it. I don't usually do DIYs but this one is simple enough and looks cute enough for the minimal work that goes into it. By the way yes I did cut my hair. Let me do a little head twirl for you just so you can see. I went darker. It still has a little purple tint but I just felt like doing something new for the new year. Year. Let me know if you like it down below or if you like the lighter colors. I don't know I just feel like this is easier maintenance for me this year I'm just gonna let my scalp rest a bit because bleaching for like over five years. Yeah it kind of dries it out and everything. Anyway, back to vision boards. So if you don't know what a vision board is, it's essentially a board of visuals and sometimes text that inspire you, that represent what you want in your ideal life. And I've been making vision boards almost every year for the past five or six years, I would say. I've made both digital and physical vision boards, but I feel like the physical vision boards have more of an effect on you. The point of having a vision board is you wanna look at it as much as possible, preferably every single day because you want to ingrain those images into your mind so that you subconsciously attract those things into your reality through the law of attraction. So I'll post a playlist of more law of attraction manifesting type videos down below. So without further ado, let's get into it. To make this DIY, you'll need cutting pliers, clothespins, nails or hooks to hang up your board, and of course, a wire grid panel. Urban Outfitters sells a wire wall grid for about $100, but for this DIY, we're going with this panel you could find at Home Depot for about $10. It comes in a pretty large size, so you can really cut it to the size of your liking. This panel was too big to fit in my car, so Wilson helped me cut it in half to make it fit. The next step is to find your inspiration. I took to Pinterest and literally browsed for over two hours at night to find images that I really liked and wanted to bring into my reality in 2019. The next day, I went into Photoshop and resized all the images to a square format so it would look cleaner on the vision board. Then I printed them out and started cutting away. The images I chose either represented a place I wanted to travel to, a goal I wanted to achieve, or a feeling I wanted to bring into my life. In general, I want to eat healthier and eat more colorful whole foods, do more yoga and be able to do a tripod headstand, travel more, spend more time with family, be rooted in my unique light, and live a beautiful and joyful life. Now, taking the pliers, I'm trimming off the excess of the grid, making sure the size is right and nothing is poking out. Be careful on this step as the ends of the grids could be pretty sharp. Then I'm just cutting off the paper packaging. This was pretty tedious. I felt like I was snipping like those dim sum ladies that snip your buns. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? They just snip, snip, snip. I related to those ladies at this moment. The wire was pretty dirty, so I took this washcloth with some soap and water to wipe off the black dirt in the corners. And now it's all clean. Now it's time to arrange your images on the board. There are no rules here, just lay them out in whatever way speaks to you. Once you've decided, you can start to clip the images onto the board. I kind of like this diagonal clip idea going on, so I just stayed with that theme. And that's it! A pretty simple DIY that looks really cute on your wall. For now, I'm resting it on my desk until I decide where to hang it up. I'm actually moving soon, so I'm gonna wait until we get everything settled in to be able to finish this. So 
So that's it for my vision board for now. I do feel like I'll add more to it as I go. It does feel a little empty. I mean, it's cute, but I think it needs a little something more to make it complete. So I'll just keep adding to it when I have time. Let me know if you guys are gonna try this DIY or if you're gonna make any vision boards of your own. I'd love to see and share your vision boards. Just hashtag Lavendaire on Instagram or Twitter or wherever you decide to post it. By the way, I just wanna let you know that this year I'm gonna test out a slightly different upload schedule. I'm gonna upload on Wednesdays and Sundays it's still gonna be mornings around 6 a.m. PST but Sunday just because I think more people log on on the weekends and Sunday is a good time to like do self-care reflect and work on yourself so yeah lastly I got some questions on the last video on why we're moving out of this apartment so although I love this apartment I love the setup it was so fun to live here we are moving out about next week because this apartment is on a main street and it's just so loud I don't know if you guys have noticed this year, but there's just been so m many like car traffic noises in the background And as I film I have to stop like every minute or even less than a minute because there's always a car like zooming by Fire trucks beeping. It's just like I don't know if you can hear it right now Oh my gosh It's just pretty loud here and although like it's been super fun to live in a very convenient location we're ready to move to a quieter suburb area i'm actually just moving back home because next year i'm gonna travel a lot more that's the other reason we're gonna move back home both me and wilson will move to my mom's house where i was before this because i want to do a lot more traveling this year and it just doesn't make sense financially to pay for an apartment when i'm not going to be there half the time and at home i have my own office my own space i have everything i need it's pretty comfortable it's actually closer to wilson's work so it works out for everybody the only reason we came to this apartment was because i wanted to live closer to the city and I got my experience I got the annoying traffic in my videos and I'm just ready to move on to the next chapter anyway let me know if you guys are interested on seeing videos about like moving out traveling or just vlogs like that I'm not sure if you guys really like vlogs but just let me know down below because I want to try to do the vlogs but still in a way that is helpful that has like lessons I can share so I put a lot of new travel destinations on my vision board this year I have the freedom to travel and work from anywhere around the world so this year I'm gonna do my best to make it happen and I'll take you guys along with me all right love you all so much bye